Harvard University overhauled its sexual misconduct policy this summer. For the first time, they defined sexual harassment and created a central office to investigate allegations. But the new rules require a lower standard of proof than a criminal trial. And this week, 28 current and former Harvard Law faculty members called on the school to change that policy. They say that the new procedures, quote, lack the most basic elements of fairness and due process. We think this is enormously one-sided in the nature of the procedures. Law professor Elizabeth Bartholet co-signed the op-ed and believes Harvard's new policy lacks safeguards for students who face accusations, such as the ability to review evidence, the opportunity to face accusers in a hearing, and access to proper legal representation. It's very important to make sure that we're not improperly disciplining students and in the law school, make sure that we're not destroying somebody's future career based on facts that are simply wrong. But public policy students like Rory Gerberg say victims also deserve strong protections and would welcome an even tougher sexual misconduct policy. Students should be able to continue their education without being scared of who they're going to see in the library. Harvard enacted the changes in July, two months after the U.S. Department of Education said the school was among dozens under investigation for mishandling harassment complaints under Title IX, the federal law that prohibits gender discrimination at educational institutions that receive federal funds. In a statement, Harvard defended the policy, saying, quote, the university is confident that the policy and procedures meet their promise of a thoughtful, fair, and consistent approach to these profoundly complex and sensitive situations. CBS News legal analyst Ricky Kleeman prosecuted sex crimes in Massachusetts. Ricky, good morning. Good morning, Nora. All right, this is fascinating. We've talked about it. We know the federal government has said colleges and universities are not doing a good job when it comes to sexual harassment. How is Harvard's policy now different? Well, Harvard's policy changed along with the Department of Education, the U.S. government, asking colleges to change. So when you have a preponderance of the evidence standard, I'm going to use my hands, you have scales of justice. If you put a feather on that scale of justice, what you have is one little feather. That's a preponderance of the evidence. And that could, according to that professor that we just watched, that could ruin someone's life. In a criminal court, the preponderance of the evidence goes all the way up to beyond a reasonable doubt. What used to okay, happen... Okay, it's I'm, a university. It's not a criminal court. Why can't the standard of proof be lower at a university? Well, certainly it can be lower, and certainly the Department of Education has said we want to protect women and other victims, could be men, who are victims of sexual assault and harassment. So we're not in a criminal court. But before the Department of Education issued its letter, the standard of proof was clear and convincing evidence. That's between that big pro proof beyond a reasonable doubt and that time feather. So what the law school professors are saying, who are interested in protecting women, but not at the expense of the rights of an accused. But the previous policy didn't work. Well, the previous policy definitely didn't work. And so what we really want here is something that is fair and balanced. I'm not saying that the law professors are right or that the university is right or that the students are right. The students want yes means yes, which is all the way at what California is doing, which is really an overprotective policy, according to some. So what do we want? We want a neutral person who's going to decide this. The law school is also yeah. saying, look, the Department of Education as one person, that person wants to comply with Title IX, that person wants to please the federal government, that's the investigator, the prosecutor, know, I, 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 and the judge. Yeah, yeah. Just know. because the old policy worked doesn't mean the new one will. And my I, question is, you, you have Harvard Law School there. Why not consult mm -hmm. The folks who work at Harvard Law School. Well, Harvard Law School probably does have some of the greatest minds in law in the country. I don't think we can debate that. But the university is a big university. And the administration made a policy decision that they were going to go forward with what they believed was compliance. Perhaps they consciously decided they didn't want to talk to the law professors at Harvard, or perhaps they didn't have enough time. Ricky Thank you. <laughs>